All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Heavenly Delusion season one, episode four. I don't know why I said season one. Um, yeah, very excited for this episode. Last episode was crazy. We found out. I'm gonna just say Kiriko because I've already forgotten the brother's name, but he's not really important because he's now Kiriko. Um, yeah, we found out that backstory. Honestly, dude had the survival instincts of a goddamn chipmunk. But um, yeah, he he was he died in a very awful way somehow survived for a very long time after that they managed to take his brain put it in his sister's body presumably that gunshot i don't know yet but um either that gunshot was either someone shot her to do this or maybe she shot herself because maybe she knew the doctor could do this i don't know we don't know yet it's a possibility though definitely a high possibility um yeah we found that out that whole situation out obviously maru is a bit He's a bit confused right now on how, on how he's feeling. Uh, understand, but understandably so. But um, yeah, we we're just going with Kiriko. That's that's the body's name. That's their name, you know. That's how it is. And then we end the episode uh, with uh, oh well, the two things end the episode actually. Uh, end the episode firstly with the goddamn fish, giant fish with hands, which was on the little kid's art. Don't know what that's about. I said the kid might be clairvoyant. It's a possibility. Once again, we'll find out. Very interesting. Lots of mystery here. Um, it was also like two and a half hours later when I was watching Goddamn Hell's Paradise. There was also a blue fish with arms. That was weird. Uh, and then also the the frog the frog kid, the frog froppy looking kid was like, hey, do you want to see a baby? Like a real baby? Yeah, they don't have faces. So this is gonna probably going to be a wild episode. But yeah, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Ugh, creepy fucking thing. Look at it. Oh, it moves so quickly as well. Oh, damn. We got a direct hit on that thing. That, bro, did that not do any damage? Are you fucking serious? It's got like a barrier. Oh, okay, we're back with these kids. Yeah, this kid's gender's confusing me because I was told, like, it's, it's a dude, but then I was told it's not a dude, so I'm just gonna wait to find out. Th this is a wall. What do you mean, follow me, you frog? <laughs> that ain't happening. Help me up. Does she just think she'll be able to do this as well? No, not a chance. What's your special ability? Abnormal behavior detected? Yeah, that's that seems pretty normal for this guy. Natural human instinct, I suppose. Don't know. Oh, they're doing this trick. Lol. But it only goes up to a certain height. Is she going to be able to reach? If she falls, this is a problem. What freaky shit are we about to see? Oh, we're like switching between scenes right now. Interesting. Oh, we can survive for 30 minutes. No problem. That won't. So fucking weird, dude. Inside the ship? Crazy. It ain't locked. Why does it say do not enter on it? You? Yeah, you can fuck it up. <laughs> you did it to the other one. Do it to this one. Creepy ass thing. Oh, all the food. Oh no. Bro's using goddamn hydro pump. Jesus. So why is it just a food supply face uh, place? Why does it say do not enter? Bro, you are pretty crazy killing the other one. Go ham on this one too, please. Wait, what? Oh, broccoli land. A marijuana. <laughs> I thought it was broccoli. Wow, that's funny. Yeah, okay, wow. Killed it, easy. Well, you just ruined all that weed. Easy peasy. Now let's eat this thing for dinner. Maru touch. I was expecting that fish fight to go on a lot longer, but they, they dealt with that thing. They're about to find some creepy shit right now. 
What the fuck? They're growing these creatures? Every, every episode is just a new mystery. Ah, uh, great. Goddamn frog got us in trouble. Wait, is it a different room? Oh, it wasn't us that set off the alarm. Yeah, they didn't see that on the camera? They're still in the room. They didn't see anything on the camera as well before. When she was climbing that wall. What the hell? Oh shit, she left the blueprint. Does she, does she have like an ability that like fries cameras or makes it so she doesn't... Maybe she can interact with tech. But she did actually, she was the one that saw that thing on a tablet. What the hell is this? Is this like the AI? Maybe this thing is helping Tokyo. Interesting. I am confused. Saving your fucking life? What do you mean? Yeah. Changes his mind every time the captain says. Does the other guy know about it? Mitsuba? Do you want to be our bodyguards? <laughs> this guy and changed his fucking mind. <laughs> Wait, is Mitsuba like a... Like a convenience store or something? I'm liking the survival... Roaming from place to place, Last of Us aspect of this show. I hope we get to see more of it. Yeah, you were just testing it on me? What the hell is this thing? I hope it's not something weird. <laughs> Trash at naming stuff. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the fucking logo. Well, that's a bird. Just not the same one. Oh, he's talking about the video. Maybe it was this, like, robot thing as well that sent him that video for some reason. <laughs> well. Um, about that. These are wild urges, you say. Um, brother? This this kid is, is, is weird. Alright, chill, dude. Chill. What a way for kids to be talking to each other. Jesus. Where are they learning all these, like, adult urges from? They're gonna kiss now, too? What is with these kids? Oh god, what is this fucker drawing now? Oh, so he's aware of it. Hey, did she say she'd like it to be... Is this guy's name Connor? No, she said it in, like, third person. That was weird. Why are you watching me in my room? What the fuck? Oh shit, little dude's gonna die. Poor kid. Don't even know what's wrong with him. They might know what's wrong with him, we don't. Oh shit. Yeah, it definitely is. Mm -hmm. Right, so that was Heavenly Delusion episode 4. Uh, that was a less of a weird episode, I'd say, for Kiriko and Maru. Um, I mean, they... they killed a fish with weed uh, and then they just kind of over that had a fairly fun episode so that was nice for them however tokyo side of things very weird um that camera thing I, at first i was thinking about it because when i saw them climbing up the wall when they see it see it through the view of the camera you don't see anything so i was confused about that but it didn't say anything but then the second time it happened it's like okay i mean I, i'm just thinking every kid in the show has some kind of superpower but um it may, I mean, it may not be the important part of this, or it may not be the, be the case, because it seems more like, because of thinking back of what happened on the tablet, when she saw that, like, do you want to go to the outside of the outside? I'm thinking maybe it's, like, the AI or whatever runs this place that's doing this. So, I don't know, just brainstorming here, but it's a possibility. Yeah, um, very interesting. It's, it's unusual why all these kids are so into the idea of, like, well, adult stuff, really, like, without being taught it like where, where did they learn for this from whether it's kind of evolutionary or they are learning it from something i don't know 
But yeah, the feelings are coming from somewhere. So that's interesting. Obviously, these kind of feelings are normal human feelings, which you can't really help but feel. But yeah, it's just very specific kind of things. It's unusual. Yeah, overall, a very good episode, though. And I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.